Hi, my name is Bruce Fertman, and I'm the founding director of the Alexander Alliance International. I'm going to read to you what I think are the top 10 myths of the Alexander Technique. One, the Alexander Technique is about posture. That's a myth. Reality, the Alexander Technique is about unposturing. The problem is that we are posturing, most often unconsciously. The Alexander Technique is about becoming an unpostured person. That is, unheld, unfixed, flexible, movable, not only physically, but as a person in general. Two, the Alexander Technique is about uprightness. That's a myth. Reality, the Alexander Technique has nothing to do with standing up straight. There's not a straight line in the body, or in the universe for that matter. The Alexander Technique has nothing to do with doing anything right or correctly. It's about doing what you do well, efficiently, effectively, comfortably, and pleasurably. Three, the Alexander Technique is about how you hold your neck, how you hold your head on your neck. That's a myth. Reality, the Alexander Technique is about how you stop holding your head on your neck. It's about not interfering with the inherent balancing mechanisms that do that for you. The Alexander, four, the Alexander Technique is about your body. That's a myth. Reality, the Alexander Technique is about you, about how you are within yourself and with others and in relation to the world around you. It's about the quality of your actions and interactions. It's about the quality of your experience. It's more about how you are being than what you are doing. Five, the Alexander Technique is about becoming more symmetrical because symmetry is balanced. That's a myth. Reality, nothing in nature is symmetrical, including humans. Symmetry is a concept like a point or a line is a concept. Buddha might look symmetrical when he's sitting peacefully on a lotus flower, but take a closer look and you'll see one foot on top of the other and one hand on top of the other. Look closely at any person's face and you won't find perfect symmetry. We're after harmony, not symmetry. And harmony is not related to the shape of your body at any given moment. Six, the Alexander Technique is about balance. That's a myth. Reality, balance for humans is impossible. We are inherently unbalanced, and this is what promotes movement. We waver toward and away from equilibrium. This is a good thing. When the wind blows, waves are generated upon the surface of a pond. The wind stops, and those waves become smaller, approaching but never attaining stillness. Stillness is a concept, a beautiful one, but within stillness lays motion, however subtle. Seven, the Alexander Technique is about learning how to breathe correctly. That's a myth. Reality, we don't breathe. Alexander once said, at last I find that when I don't breathe, I breathe. We are breathed by forces within us and all around us. Do you breathe when you're sleeping? Do you breathe when you're eating? Yes, we can take a breath, but breath is not for the taking. It does not belong to us. Breath is a gift from the world. It's meant to be received. Breathing is responsive. It responds to activity. It is not an activity. When you run up a hill, do you first stand there and breathe and get enough air and then run up the hill? Or do you run up the hill and breathing automatically and faithfully responds to your wishes without you even having to ask? Eight, the Alexander Technique is about learning how to stand, how to stand on your own two feet. 
That's a myth. Reality, you do not stand on your own two feet. You stand on the ground. And I wish more Alexander teachers were in better touch with the ground. Nine, the Alexander technique is about learning how to relax. That's a myth. Reality, the Alexander technique is about readiness. The Alexander technique is about preparing for nothing in particular while being ready for anything that may happen. The Alexander Technique is about learning how to effortlessly return to a condition of alert, calm, readiness. 10. The Alexander Technique is about proper body mechanics, learning the best way to get up and down from a chair, how to walk correctly, how to bend down without hurting yourself, etc. That's a myth. Reality, human beings are not mechanical. We are not machines. Alignment is for cars. We're organic. We're mammals. The Alexander Technique is about learning how we are best designed to function as homo sapiens. The Alexander Technique is, in part, about questioning cultural concepts of the body and about undoing the acquired habits that interfere with our natural design.